Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you this morning from rainy-ish San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are excited and had a great weekend. I want to speak this morning. Um, I'm not going to bring you a large number of original thoughts and musings of my own. I want to share with you something that I found very powerful that has helped me as a father reflecting on Father's Day and helps me as a person in the marketplace who has been entrusted with stewarding lots and lots of lives. And it's simply this, having a clear understanding of what true leadership really is. Most people do not know what true leadership really is because maybe they just not have taken the time to research or investigate or study the principles and ideas and philosophies around the subject. So it's my pleasure this morning to bring to you the research and the studies that I have invested into leadership for the last 30 years and just narrow it down to a very small revelation for you so you can walk away with a greater understanding. Now, for those of you that have jobs, the chances are very good that you have an idea about leadership. And here's what I mean by that. Most people, when they think of leadership, do not tend to think of amazing, wonderful people. They tend to think of people who are very uh, top down in their thinking. Maybe their boss, maybe somebody that they work with that they are responsible to, maybe somebody who puts heavy demands on them and, um, and expects a lot out of them. So when they think of a leader, they think of a boss in most cases. And what we're talking about here is something completely different. John Maxwell is the key researcher. I mean, he is the primary voice in the space of leadership in the business and personal world, both. And the research he's put into it nails down a couple things, and I'm just going to address two of them today. The weakest form of leadership and the most powerful form of leadership. I'm just going to discuss those two for you this morning. The weakest form of leadership is known as positional leadership or a title. When someone has a title or a position, let's say in a corporate environment, maybe even in a military environment, but a position and a title, then they are typically entrusted with greater responsibilities than other people. And with those responsibilities comes a certain authority because there is an accountability and a responsibility of that individual that is greater than those that they are responsible for or responsible to. I know that was a whole lot. Let me just say it real short like this. A titled person has greater responsibilities and therefore authority because of those greater responsibilities. And yet a titled person, a person with a title, is not true leadership. That is a form that is positional leadership. That person is the leader because they have a position or they have a title. Lowest, weakest form of leadership. Because I'm your boss. That's why I do it. Because I said so. Because I am your mother. I'm your mother. I'm not your friend. I said so because I'm your mother. I'm your daddy, boy. Better do what I say right now. Bust out that switch on you. Mm hmm A title. I'm your boss. You don't have to do what I say. And you don't have to work here if you choose not to do what I say. We've all experienced the overflow of a person who we did not respect, who we certainly did not love with a, I don't mean like, oh my gosh, I'm just like in love with him. I'm talking about somebody that you go, man, I would take a bullet for that guy. Man, I would take a bullet for that woman. I'm talking about someone that you cared about. Uh, we, we have all experienced the shrapnel from the blowing up of a poor leader. All of us have experienced that and that can taint how you feel about leadership without this recognition or knowledge of what true leadership actually is. So a title and a position is the lowest form of leadership because it requires those subjected to those individuals to comply because they have to. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the whole spectrum. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take you from the lowest to the highest. The highest form of leadership what I'm going to call this morning true leadership, the highest form of leadership, according to John Maxwell, and I have witnessed it in my life, and so have you, quite frankly. 
You just may have never considered it as leadership. The highest form of leadership is nothing more and nothing less than one word, influence. Let me say that one more again so y'all can get it. Influence. True leadership is nothing more and nothing less than influence. The ability through one's beliefs manifested in consistent actions, rooted and grounded by a heart of caring for other people, walking in incredible integrity, so that this and these individuals have your attention because they are making the hard decisions for themselves first and they are living their lives as an example. Their greatest sermon is not what they say, it's how they live. And these people over time become people of influence because they get our attention because we see them doing the things that we believe we are capable of doing and we see them being people we believe we're capable of becoming and we see them experiencing things that we would like to experience as well and so they have our attention or influence leadership and influence are synonymous true leadership the highest form of leadership is influence this is why at your work the same corporate environment, the same corporate entity, the same corporate culture can have a positional leader, a boss, if you will, a positional leader who nobody likes, nobody enjoys being around, everybody talks about him at the coffee pot, at lunchtime, over the weekend, what a jackwad boss this is. They can have a positional leadership and you can be doing what they say. But then there's a couple people at the company don't even have a position at all. In fact, they may be your colleagues. They may be people you work alongside. In fact, it may be somebody who you don't even work alongside. I remember in high school, at John Marshall High School, a long time ago, there was a uh, policeman on site. Now, he was the lowest form in terms of leadership, if you will, at the school. You had your principals, you had your teachers, you had all that, but then there was Officer Wolfington, man. Let me tell you something about that, man. That, that dude was a cool cat. He was a cool cat. I, I should have been expelled multiple times. He had incredible grace and mercy on me. It wasn't until later after he passed that someone came to tell me he was a very strong believer and prayed for all of us. And I'm sure I got to be number one on that list with all the crazy shenanigans I was involved in. But this man had more influence, not because he had a little badge walking around the school. It was because of who he was, how he carried himself. Just as a simple example, all of you guys know Someone who does not have a title, does not have a position, heck, they may not have even completed the fifth grade, and yet the influence they have over you and others is beyond question because of who they are, who they are becoming, and the hope that is imparted to you when you get around their world. Now, they may have been people who have passed, like my grandparents, who continue to maintain leadership, even though their bodies are not with me anymore. So I want you to think about this today. The greatest sermon you can preach, the greatest opinion you can have, the greatest statement you can make on this earth, on this earth, it's not what you say, it's how you live. Your life is the greatest sermon. Your life is the only sermon some people may, may, may ever hear. Your opinions about politics and government and, and your, your angry musings on social media, that's not going to change anything. For things to change, you have to change. For things to get better, you got to get better. So are you leading today? Do you have influence? And if you do not and you desire it, now you know the difference. Having a position will never make you a leader. Having influence is what leadership is all about. Have a great day, guys.